Alex Lucas and Dime Jacob. Welcome back to the Bros Before Hoes podcast extravaganza. Hello, welcome back. My name is Jacob. And my name's Lucas. And today we're here just to spread a light in this world because usually we only see yellow light, but today we're going to be see white light. What does that mean? Is that like a deep analogy? Yeah, because we always see yellow light, so it's tainted, but we're white light since we're so pure and innocent. Oh my God. This is a gospel service. Yep. Do you want to know anything else? (laughs) I'm joking. (laughs) Um, For some, oh, for some reason, I just thought of this. Have you ever gone on the Reddit? I am, am I the asshole in the subreddit? Um, I think I might be subscribed be- because you told me about it, but okay, I don't Chrissy really look Teigen at it. Chrissy one time tweeted about it and said, oh, yeah, like every night before I go to bed, I read the Am I the Asshole subreddit. And it's basically just people write on their situations and you have to, people comment below, like if they're the asshole or not. But for all the ones I've read, it usually like they're always say, oh, you're not the asshole because it's usually something where like someone did something so wrong. Oh, but it's so yeah. funny reading them because like you actually get so triggered while reading them. So like, what are they? Like, one will just be like, oh, the one that I read last night was about this girl. Um, Her sister has a boyfriend, and he's quarantining with their family. Yeah. And like, I guess the boyfriend's just, like, an asshole. But, like, for some reason, the parents and everyone, like, just, like, do everything he says because, like, they feel awkward because they don't want to be nice to him since he's, like, the guest, you know? Oh, yeah. But I guess, like, and also, like, he doesn't help with, like, any chores around the house. And he's just, like, rude to everyone. And I guess, like, he always slowly was annoying to the other sister who's not dating him. And then I guess they were watching a movie, and <laughs> she said that usually when she watches movies, like every like twenty five minutes, she like says a comment, and that's like how their family watches yeah. movies, you know? Because you know, like most people do that. Oh yeah, like most sometimes just say a comment. Yeah, you but... just like say a comment, like oh ha ha, like oh look at that scene or whatever, you know. But it is so <laughs> funny when you're watching a movie with our mom because you're watching the movie and she's watching too, but but then randomly she asks. Who's that guy? I've seen him before. And then you deposit and look him look him up on IMBD. <laughs> but so she made a comment 25 minutes in, and apparently all she said was, Hey dad, can you pause the movie? Because I'm just laughing because I know it's gonna get so intense. <laughs> she just said, Hey dad, can you pause the movie? Because I have to go to the bathroom. And I yeah. guess the boyfriend looked at her and and shushed her. He put his finger over her her his mouth and said, Shh. Here's the thing is that that isn't a big deal, but no, I guess, no, but that is a big deal is what I mean. It doesn't seem like a big but deal, but you, I, so I, I, I left out some part. There's also like, because this is like five paragraphs long. Yeah. Like before that, she said, like, I learned early on when he was quarantining with us, like, I'm not allowed to talk during movies with him. Because I guess like <laughs> for the first few movies they watched, like she would do her typical like. Oh, and like the mom and dad, but they'd all like be talking about the movie. And I guess he said like, oh, like I can't concentrate on a movie unless like it's just silent. Like I just don't like when people talk during it. And then she was like, oh, okay. Like, I guess that's fine. And then she literally just said she had to go to the bathroom. It wasn't even a comment on the movie. And then he shushed her. So then I guess it's actually so much drama. And um, she like ran up to the room and said like, I fucking hate him. He's so annoying. But the most annoying thing is, and this is why she had to go on the subreddit and ask everyone, like, am I the asshole? Because everyone on the family is against her. Like, I guess the parents are like, he's the guest. Like, why are you acting like this? Like, all he did was shush you. It's not that big of a deal. And she just, and then I guess the sister and the boyfriend, like, they're threatening to quarantine at his mom's house instead. And she's like, oh, yeah, just go then. I don't, we don't want you guys here. And the parents are so mad. And they're like, you have to apologize to them or they're going to leave. So are the parents just with the boyfriend because they feel scared? I can't tell. I guess, like, yeah, all the comments were so funny because they all said, like, you're not the asshole. Your whole family is like a bunch of babies just letting this guy rule the house. <laughs> yeah. <this> okay. <laughs> because that's the thing is that, um, is that, um, it's it's such a little thing, but it could turn into a big thing. I know. Yeah. Uh, that is so awkward, though. But I guess, like, everyone in her family is against her. And she still has, according to the post, she hasn't apologized. So I don't know if the sister and the boyfriend left or what the deal is. Because I thought, she said everyone in her family, like, talking during the movies. So then they just all went on, on his side and not talking. Yeah, because they said, like, oh, like, he just needs to concentrate on it. Oh my gosh. Oh no. I actually am on whole side too, though. Oh, yeah. So if you ever want to get triggered, read that subreddit. Am I the asshole? There is times during the week where I'm doing something and it's and it, and it isn't even a big deal, but I sometimes wonder, like, wait, was I the asshole? Like, or is oh my no God, one you should asshole? write one. And usually, whenever anyone writes one, they always say, like, just so you know, this is a burner account. 
I'm not writing this on my actual Reddit account. Oh. <laughs> and like, cause they don't want anyone to see it, you know? Oh yeah. But, um, um, mine wouldn't actually like be for that because they're kind of just dumb ones. Like, oh yeah, I was at Wama in the checkout salon, but I, it looked, it kind of, it kind of seemed like I was budging, but I don't know if I was, you know, <laughs> <laughs> stuff like that. <laughs> but, um, oh, the reason why I thought of it, I am I the asshole is because somebody um has a quarantine drama with a romantic partner. Oh, um someone that emailed us? Yeah. Okay, what is it? They said so basically I had this girlfriend and we got serious and moved in together. Then all this corona shit started happening and we started to quarantine ourselves together. Things then got really bad. We started arguing and our relationship fell apart. The worst part is we are still stuck in the same house. They're lit- and she said, literally, we're trying to avoid each other in a one-bedroom studio apartment. And she said, it's pathetic. I can't move in with my parents because they're healthcare workers, and they don't want to put me at further risk. And I guess the ex's parents live out of the country, so she can't leave the house either. And she said, as I'm writing this, I'm lying on the couch in parentheses. She got the bed waiting for her to get the F out of the kitchen so I can make ramen. This is literally hell. Please help me. What do I do? I hate this. Just got out of a serious relationship, and now we're forced to live with each other. Anyway, your podcast is the only thing keeping me sane, so thank uh, you. And then she said congrats on getting the advertisement. So, Oh, uh, thanks for that. Yeah. I feel bad, though. I know. This sounds in a, horrible. In a one-bedroom studio apartment, and then... Like, and then, as she was writing it, the ex was in the kitchen, and she was just couldn't go in the kitchen because, like, didn't want to cause a fight. Like, that sounds horrible because, like, quarantining is already, like, drama, but then adding on top of that, like, you can't even be comfortable in your situation because you're walking on eggshells and in one room. Like, there's no way to escape. Yeah. And then if you're actually annoyed with them, you probably just think everything they do is annoying. Yeah, like, even the smallest thing is just, like, making noise while using the Keurig. Like, that's just everyone makes noise, but... Then but it, it just, just would it become extra. annoying. Or, like, even if they're just watching TikTok and laugh, like, it probably would rub you wrong and be like, wait, what the hell? Oh, it's why like, wait, why are they so laughing? Laugh? <laughs> 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 oh, my God. I feel for you. Honestly, she didn't even ask for any advice, but that just sounds... I don't even know what you do. Besides just uh, maybe just... It also, like, the bright side is it kind of sounds like the beginning of a romantic movie. Oh, like, what? Wait, how did it start? Like, okay, these two girls live together. They're girlfriends. They break up, and then, like, they're forced to quarantine, and then they realize, like, oh, wait, like, actually, it's true love. Oh, but they don't like each other. No, that's the beginning oh, of the movie. Oh, so they hate each other, but then they end up yeah, loving each other. You know how, like, most other. romantic comedies start, and they both hate each other. Like, oh, think of, then. have you seen the proposal with um Sarah Bullock and Ryan Reynolds? Yeah, when I was younger. Yeah, so they so hated then. each other. She was the annoying boss. And then they just realized, like, oh, my God, we're perfect for each other. Oh, so maybe it will turn out like that. Yeah, so I have faith that, like, that could maybe happen. Yeah, so you'll walk into the kitchen one day, and she'll be making coffee in the kitchen, like, And then you'll just now notice, you like coffee the same way I like coffee. Yeah. And then sooner or later, you'll be... In a two bedroom house in Idaho, making bread for your family, bread business. Literally, that could be you. So maybe my advice would be to just do something nice and see what happens. So there's so much anger in the studio apartment. Everyone's mad. There's tension. But just to break the ice, just say, start laughing and be like, oh, this is so awkward. Anyway, I'm going to make dinner. Um, Do you want me to make it for you too? Yeah, that's what I was Like break the ice. And then just even just be like, this is awkward because we hate each other, but like since we're stuck, can we just be friends? I guess or yeah. So so like just make them breakfast or something, and then it's it's it'll be kind of easy to do that, and then just see what happens. Yeah, and just say like this is so awkward, but um obviously neither of us want to be here, and we don't like each other, but we can just try to have fun while we're here. <laughs> <laughs> Want to play tic tac toe? Go fish? Crossword puzzles? Yeah, <laughs> Sudoku. <laughs> all of those games that you play when you're bored. Yeah, so maybe just try to break the tension. If that doesn't work, then at least you know you tried, you know? Yeah, and it just unfortunately won't turn out like a romantic comedy. Yeah, maybe you won't even get back together romantically, but maybe you can move into a friendship and you guys will always... Because you were connected with each other at one point, so maybe it's actually just friends and 10 years from now you'll be each other's and be each other's bridesmaids and you'll be like, oh, I remember when we dated and we were stuck in quarantine, broken up. Yeah. Or maybe, like, you guys will always just hate each other and it'll never get better. 
Hopefully it gets better though. Yeah, no, I feel <laughs> like it will. Just try the Sudoku crossword puzzles. <gasps> oh my, what else is something to just break the ice? Um, oh, maybe show them like a trick you can do. Oh, maybe like, uh, or maybe just get dull. so ready one day and just like wait for them to comment and be like, oh yeah, I figured like I'm gonna just get ready because might as well. Or just sit butt naked on the stove and see what they do. <laughs> <laughs> butt naked on the stove. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god! When I was looking at this list last night, because um, this is just something that I first I thought of when we were talking about this, um, because I wonder if you've seen it. I was looking at this list of um, fifty best Disney Channel original movies because I wanted to watch a Disney Channel original movie. Which, by the way, do they still make Disney Channel original movies? They must, right? I don't know if they do. They have to because ha- Disney Channel is still on. Well, the number one rated one was Let It Shine. Have you ever seen that? Wait, what's it about? It sounds familiar. Okay, let me just pull up the movie poster. Because I, cause I I was surprised. I didn't watch it because I never seen it, so I didn't want to. Were most of the most top-rated ones from, like, the early 2000s? Um, no, um, like, I think the number four one was um Lemonade Mouth. Oh, the I've never seen that. Mudlow. We watched, I watched that. I've never let seen Lemonade Mouth. I've never seen it, but it was number oh, one Oh, I've rated. never seen that, actually. So I kind of want to watch it. So if you, you guys watched have... Lemonade Mouth? Yeah, I watched it when it came out, but I also watched it last night. Wait, was it good? Well, I was, like, on my phone most of the time. Is the music good? Um, yeah, I actually thought they were, like, good. Like, what is, what's the concept of it? Are so, they trying to get famous, or, like, is it a school play, or, like, auditioning for a commercial? And then, like, and then the people that don't really fit in create a band, basically. Oh! So is it a musical where, like, they don't ever burst into music randomly? It's The only time they're singing is when they're with the band, and it's organically singing, you know what I mean? Like, or do they just randomly, like, in the middle of, like... A random, like you know, all musicals they burst out randomly. Does that happen? Oh no, um, they just sing for the band. I'm pretty sure. Oh, the, yeah, I don't think it was. Is just it like randomly. a rock band? Uh, no, it's kind of poppy. Oh my god, Bridget Mendler! I'm gonna stream. I I'm gonna watch this. Oh yeah. I canceled I my Disney Plus though. Oh, you can just use the family. Yeah, I'll have to hack into the families. Yeah, hack into it. Um, but then another thing I was thinking of. What is um. Wait, what was it? Oh, I had another thing to bring up. But I actually was something about that. Disney Channel original movies. Wait, no, how did we even get into this? No, it was another thing about... Oh, I, I was going to bring up another movie. This is what I was going to bring up. This is... Because I was also trying to watch Sinister last night, and it's way too scary to watch. Like, I'm not going to watch it. Oh, that movie is so... Isn't that movie... But the thing that... it's I don't want to do spoil hanging. it. Oh, that, that's the it. creepiest part is... The movie is so creepy. And I think I saw it in movie theaters. And the main thing that's scary about it was the soundtrack. Like oh, the noise they play while scary stuff oh, is happening. Oh, and it just creeped me out. Okay, so I was watching. But then you, I don't know if you know what part I'm talking about. Where the guy who's investigating or whatever he's doing is watching the video. And then they show the video. And it creeps you out because then it makes you feel like you're being filmed. That's oh, what it makes isn't the whole like. thing they someone's murdering people and filming it and then sending the videos out? I'm or what pretty is sure it? that's what it is. And then it shows the like, creepiest them hanging. part to me is so disgusting that this there's the videotape of them on lawn chairs tied to lawn chairs oh. and then he drags them into the family. I pool. didn't see this, but everyone's told me about it. Yeah, but that movie I don't want to should I just spoil it because it's just been a few years. Honestly, spoiled. okay. Fast forward a minute if you don't want to get spoiled. This is your chance. Three, two, one. That movie was so scary while watching it, but then it made it so not scary because of the ending. What happens? You find out it's a monster. Oh, that ruins it. That's not scary at all. Like, because that it reminds was a me human, of a little kid story. If it was a human serial killer the whole time, that is so scary. But then at the end, it was like this weird monster, and it's like, oh, really? Yeah, I actually have something, a big thing to say about that. I honestly think the scary movie, the sc- obviously, I think paranormal movies are scary. But I think the scariest movies are the ones that could low-key actually happen. Yeah. So, for example, like, Texas Chainsaw. Cause like, Isn't that you, based on a true story? I think it's, like, loosely based. But, but like, you, you, there could be a scenario where you're locked in someone's basement. So that's why it's so scary. Oh, yeah. That's and those so movies scary. just creep you out so much. I know. That's so effed up. But um, good luck <laughs> with the X. Good luck with the X in quarantine. Oh, yeah. Hopefully it goes we well. also got another really important email letting us know about an update on honey boo boo's life i read this one so honey boo boo has a tiktok and she jewels just take a look how old is she anyway 
Oh, someone. Ha- oh, someone had a story time. No, yeah. So it's a story so, time. I met Mama June and Honey Boo at a Dancing with the Stars show and found out she is a jewel fiend. So this is what I watched it, and Honey Boo Boo was jeweling, and then that girl, Honey Boo Boo, let that girl hit the jewel. Really? Yeah. How old is Honey Boo Boo? That's what I was. I think she's probably like thirteen. Is she still though? By now she might be like twenty, right? No, she's for sure younger than me. Let's see, Honey Boo Boo age. I'm guessing she's 15. She's 14. Yeah, she's We almost young. have the same birthday. So we're the same, like, astrolo- same, like astrologically. I always thought word? you guys were alike. Yeah, but that's why we're so similar. But she's hitting a jewel, and, like, she was with her mom in the video, and her mom's just fine with it. I am really interested about Honey Boo Boo in the future. Like, I want to know what... I don't know what I see coming, but I see big things coming. But I don't know what it is. Yeah, for some reason, I'm seeing a cooking show. I don't know. Like, I kind of see like a restaurant business. I see like, I don't know. I don't know if that's just because um, I saw Paula Dean in my recommended the other day. So maybe like cooking shows were on my mind. The first thing that came to my mind was whole coming, whole becoming, and um, uh, Instagram person. She but, probably already is. No, what I was gonna say was um, this is what I was thinking. Um, I was gonna say Instagram thought. I just pitch all becoming that for some oh. reason later on life. That could happen. I see that happening. So this brings us on to the next part of the podcast. What? Debates. Oh, yeah. We actually have a few debates. Oh, yeah. Have we, we done this before? This podcast would kind of just low-key be like road trip games. So like pretend right now we're on a road trip to Wyoming. And these are just yeah. games you play in the car. So you can play this with people who you're with in your house. Um, That girl who sent in the email, you can play it with your ex. Should we um start this with that one game where you do a sentence? Oh, right, what's that one? We remember when we were driving from California to ne- to Nebraska one time, and we were do what? What was the game again? Is that the one you say a sentence? Oh, you th- continue the story. Yeah, should we do it? Oh, sure. Okay. The man that is the man that is brutally dancing in laundry mat. The end. Yeah, okay. That's good enough. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we're going to do a game where we debate really important topics. So like, this is sort of like the Am I the Asshole Reddit. Like, it's just going to be a lot of, um, like, just a lot of triggering. Yeah, we're going to make everyone pissed off. Yeah. So we're just going to be debating really important topics. One of the most basic BuzzFeed ones is what way should the toilet paper go? Okay, so what do you mean? Like, like when you put the toilet you. paper on the roll, should it be like the flaps outward or the flaps inside? Um, like what if, if you're having a house party for some reason, it's like supposed to be fancy okay. and the guest bathroom, you, you got to pick how the toilet roll goes for everyone to see. What would it be? Um, I would choose like coming from the bottom. Wait, so like the wraps on the inside? Yeah. Oh, uh, so at those fancy house parties, what happens is what I want to know. <laughs> Since you brought that up, like I want to know what, ha- like I want to know what they talk about. I don't think I've ever been to a fancy house party. You, so what I'm picturing right now is this fancy up house party, plates are set up, and I'm picturing like thirty people, and they're all like above thirty, and they're drinking out of glasses of wine. Everything's like fresh china, like and what everyone's are- in suits for some reason. Yeah, so but so it's not even a special occasion. But it isn't a business thing. It's just friends. But I do you think this group of people. What do you think they talk about? So what do you think? I, I, I don't, I'm not even talking about specific people, just this group. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like they're talking about. Probably like their favorite cheese. Oh, and then, and then they're also talking about how they traveled to Europe during college. Oh yeah. And like name dropping really small towns in Europe to see if anyone else understands what they're talking about. Just to like see who else is at their level. At their level of bouginess. Yeah. And then they're also like, so, um. Since they um, since they like don't have kids yet, mm-hmm. they're like kind of like talking about oh if we do have kids, this is what will happen. Oh yeah, yeah. And then the food's probably like a brisket. What and even is a brisket? I don't know. Like you know, like what mom makes on um Christmas. Oh, like a big piece of ham. Yeah, it kind of just grosses me out. Oh, because you're Beef. vegan. Yeah. No, I'm not, guys. But um, what was I going to say? <laughs> oh, yeah. I actually personally think that the toilet paper should be outward. Oh, okay. It should not be inward. Because like, I feel like then it's hard to grab. Shouldn't it just be outward hanging? So I'm um, not hanging low, but like the flaps on the coming out towards you from the top. 
So then you just, it's easier access, but... I feel like it was easier access the other way. Oh, that must be why it's such a hot debate. Because I felt the other way, like... So when... The, it's weird because my sister asked me that, the other question. The, the sister that was on the podcast a few weeks ago asked me that, and, it, and I said the bottom. For What'd some reason say? it popped up. I don't think she really answered, but yeah. So for some reason I just feel like that's correct, so. Oh, uh, I always switch it if it's that way. You do? Yeah, because it's like, oh, that's so annoying. When you're at... But when you're in a public restroom, isn't it always coming out from the bottom? Well, the public restroom, it's always like that weird one that's sideways. Oh, but like are those other public restrooms that aren't like I don't actually know. public. But I don't also... ever use toilet paper in public. But when you look over. I don't ever notice it. <laughs> usually I'm just peeing standing Ew, up. I just thought about something kind of gross. What if instead of toilet paper at these public restrooms, you know how they have those places to dry your hands? They have that like. That's like a bidet. But except it didn't have water. It just dried. Oh, that'd be kind of cool. Yeah. One big blow dryer. <laughs> <laughs> and then the next basic BuzzFeed debate question. Okay, is, what was it? In the shower, do you wash your legs? Oh, we asked, We did this already. Oh, really? But um, my answer was yes, and then you said no. I remember. But you don't actually wash your legs, though. I'm not joking to be funny or anything. I, I, um, this, I thought everyone, I get a bottle of soap and wash my whole entire body. Even like, your feet? Yeah, my feet even, and like go between my toes. Liar! I'm not even joking. Wait, really? <laughs> I don't know if I'm just ultra clean, but I, I, I do all my. The, so the reason why I, maybe you don't do your legs because of this, but the reason why I, um, I think I like probably like years ago I started cleaning my legs because because they were hairy, so I was like, oh, I don't want like, sweat in it. Oh, I but, never do. But I still do. Yeah. I never do unless like I went somewhere like if I swam in a lake or something. I, I. Otherwise, I just I, I clean from like the mid thigh up. I don't have a reason for it, really. I just like I would I always never. Will. I don't think I've ever gone as far to scrub in between my toes because, like, I just figure, like, oh, like everything's falling down there. I'm washing it. Naturally. I might have been over exaggerating. I don't always do that, but there's sometimes when, like, every other day, I just put like sometimes do it. Cause I'm like, might as well be extra clean. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> you're really doing it all. Oh yeah, I don't like. I don't like think it's gross if you don't though. But it is kind of weird because it's like, wait, when? But just like you said, the soap just goes down. Yeah, because I just figured, like, oh, like, when I soap everything else, like, the soap goes down my legs, so it, I'm kind of saving the environment, whereas you, <laughs> like, waste it. But I've also thought, like, um, when you rub soap on your body, does it actually do anything? Because wouldn't you have to let it sit there for, like, a minute? I've thought about that. I don't know if that's true or, like, what the science is behind that, but... Um, I don't really know. I feel like it doesn't do anything. Did you know that I never <laughs> used to scrub my body with soap until I was, like, 18? Oh, wait, for y'all? Till 18? Yeah, because before that, I'd just use, I would shampoo my hair and then um, take the soap suds from my hair and rub it around my body. I, okay, so the thing is, is that I probably actually started cleaning, like, like I actually started using a bottle of soap all over my body when I was um, probably like 14 or something. But yeah, before then, what was I doing? I think I just soaped up my hair and it would make so much soap that I would use that soap and rub it all over my body. Yeah, I think back in the day, like when I was, like 12 and stuff. Yeah, I just would wash my hair and then that would clean my whole body in my mind because the soap would go everywhere. That's why it's gross, guys. Oh, yeah. Okay, next um, debate topic. Okay. Um, is it gross to pick your nose or is it natural? Um, I think it's natural. Really? Yeah, that's like, well, be, I think that will always be my opinion. I'm kidding. I but, actually feel the same. But, I feel the same because because I see babies pick their noses and nobody tells them to do that and they just naturally do it. And also I went to the zoo once and a, like a chimp or whatever was picking its nose. So like, it's just a natural, did anyone teach that chimp? It's like, it's just one of those things that society makes you think is gross. And obviously it's not something you should ever do in public, but. It, it's like just a natural thing yeah i have another zoo story by the way one time we were at the zoo i don't think you were with us so i think these people were being annoying to this lion i forgot what they were doing but the lion pulled up its leg and just like the nikki song if i had a dick i would pull it out and piss on them he pissed on them wait like piss it, went it on glass? them wait was it a glass so it wasn't wait, you glass saw this? i'm not so it was like one of those cages where like uh, it, no, it's like, um, it's like a dog cage. It was like that, I have obviously way bigger. Wait, the lion. lion can go that close to you? Well, like, it's probably the distance from, like, us two right now. It would be, like, the lion, but then there's, like, so many barriers, but it could, this pee could go through those. You so know? it purposely pissed on these kids? I think it did. <gasps> oh my god, go that lion. I mean, but So I, then, did the kids scream, or what happened? I think they just were laughing. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I remember seeing that. 
But like, yeah, it was just gross. That but, is crazy. Okay, what? But what was the? Oh, picking your nose. Yeah, I um, I just think um, I mean, should there, I go as far to Google it? Yeah, but oh yeah. But I honestly think though, like, like obviously the certain situations where you shouldn't pick your nose. Oh yeah, that's like um, that's the that's thing. That's even like oh, burping is obviously natural, but you don't you shouldn't be doing that just when you're trying to be in a polite situation. Oh yeah, and same with having sex. Like if you have a pout and you're not just gonna have sex with them, like oh, in front of your parents, like that's just not supposed that. Like it's <laughs> not not like. Yeah. It says, not only is nose picking normal, almost every kid does it, and so do most adults. Wait, I have a head itch. Um, the natural impulse to pick your nose. Um, oh, it's because it helps you breathe. Because um, mucus is, um, creates a, such an, a sensation of itchiness, and it may feel like it's blo- blocking your ability to breathe, so you have to clear it. Oh, yeah. This no. is all according to today.com. It's but 100% accurate, though, by scientists. Yeah. So, so yeah, from that snippet. Um, I think, like, I wouldn't pick my nose if there was snot, but if there was, like, one boogle, I'd pick it out, I guess. So. I don't want to say this, This raises though, like, the question. Judge. If you had a kid and they picked their nose, would you say, don't? Oh, if I had a kid and they picked their nose and, like, when they're at the house, like, I'd say, oh, don't do that. It's gross. So, like, I would So, you would still, still continue that. the shame cycle. No, like, like if they, I know once they pick their nose a little bit, I wouldn't say anything. But if they kept doing it, I'd say that's kind of gross. So that's oh. what happened to me. So like I, so everyone told me it was gross, but then I still do it a little <laughs> bit. Oh, wait, that's like a funny thing though. Like everyone tells you not to do it, but you still do it. So yeah, so if the kid really wanted to, they still could. Oh, that's true. You know, but then this leads to um, when you use a Q-tip to do your what get airwax out of your ears. Do your ears have airwax on it? Dude, um, do you, does the Q-tip have airlocks on it? It depends. Like, most of the time, not really. It's sometimes, like, just um, the most minimal amount, but sometimes it's like, whoa. Yeah, because I never did, like, recently at least, but then the other day I was like, what the uh? <laughs> but I think it's because I wear earphones all the time. Apparently that causes it. Airwax? Yeah, because I went to the Apple store one time and it said, oh, like, I think I might just be so gross because for some reason we got on the topic of, like, oh, yeah, it's so gross how, like, the earwax gets on your, um, earphones like that's just so nasty and he was like oh that's just natural because if you put something in your ear you start producing more earwax oh but um yeah that makes sense do you have I any- it actually just doesn't make sense to me but I, it's true <laughs> okay um yeah i have a i have like two okay um oh first i had a question do you know what bust it open means um i don't really know but i'm assuming it just means like just bud your legs yeah yeah, I didn't Google. I just wanted to know if you know what it meant. Oh, that's what I was just assuming. Oh, uh, okay. That's what I assumed, too. Um, okay. Um, this is kind of just like, um, this topic would be discussed on a mom podcast. Oh, that's kind of us. Should cussing be allowed on the radio? So, no, here's the thing. <laughs> How did you think of this? I thought of it by myself, but, okay, so, okay, I need to put limitations to this question for us. I'm not saying they should... They should not bleep out the songs that say, put the P in the D if it said that. Yeah. I I think probably not play. Like, I don't know if they do, if that's allowed or not. But but if it says, like, the bitch word or, uh, like, like if it says the F word once, you know? I feel like there should be radio stations that are, like, PG-13 and then radio stations that are allowed for everyone to listen to. So, like, oh. if it's one of those generic-ass radio stations where you can play it with the whole family in the car, then, yeah, obviously bleep it because, like, most probably kids shouldn't have to hear that, but yeah. If it, then you could have PG thirteen ones where they just fully say everything, P but, and the V and everything. But why is cussing looked down upon? Oh yeah, that's I'm not the really real thinking question. of cussing though. You said P and the V, so I'm thinking like explicit. Oh yeah, but but just for bitch. Do you think do you think they should sign a law where like bitch can be on the radio? Um, I think it's kind of fun having cuss words though, because I don't want to be like, oh, cuss words aren't bad, because like then people are just gonna create these new words that are bad. Oh, and just make it even worse. Yeah, so it's kind of, like, cool. Like, oh, yeah, the words, like, they're kind of, like, obviously everyone, literally everyone says them, but, like, they're just considered bad words, you know? Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, that'd be so weird if there was no such thing as a bad word. But then people would just create bad words, right? Yeah, because the thing about bad words is that um, it's cool when you're in elementary school and middle school and you learn about bad words and you, like, learn new ones because there's, like, so much, like, taboo around it. And then if you say it and a teacher hears you, like, you might get in trouble. So, like, that's oh, kind of yeah. part of the fun of it. Like when you're younger. Yeah. Wait, so do you think cussing should be allowed on the radio? Um, just to be nice to kids, I'll say no. Aw. Thank you for listening to our mom podcast. 
But like, um, yeah, like just for like, if I was a mom, like, like honestly, like if I was a parent, I actually don't know if I'd care. I I don't know. I've never. I'm just. I feel like I don't know. I guess you. I guess since everyone else cares, I'd care. That's what I'd be yeah. like. Yeah. Okay. Um. But this is another topic we probably already talked about. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> For some reason, when I'm saying these, like I feel like everyone's judging me. Like, why? These are so dumb. <laughs> is killing okay, boom, sp- mine were so dumb. Is killing spiders mean? Oh. Okay, now, this one confuses me because I never thought it was mean until I heard a few people, I don't know if it will, said that's kind of mean when you kill bugs. And then it made me realize that they are, they have, I don't know if they have a hout, but, like, they're alive. Oh, it's actually a controversial topic because in, um... In two hours, someone sprang the outside of the house for spiders. Oh, yeah. I'm joking, but um, <laughs> okay. Wait, so but, obviously, I don't think it's mean. Yeah, like I mean, but obviously then, it is mean, but at the same time, like that's just life. Like, sounds, that's like saying like don't drive your car because like you're gonna be killing bugs. But put your put your put your on the spider shoes. I'm not even joking to be funny. Like, can you picture <laughs> trying to make a nest and then they spray you? I know, it's really, they, aren't trying, they aren't trying to be annoying. I wish somehow, like, they would know not to go in people's houses. Because if they want to exist in the forest or whatever, like, I'm totally down. But, like, once they invade your space, it's when, like, obviously you don't live in a spider house. And also some spiders are dangerous. So it's either yeah. kill them or you die. I've said before, kill all spiders. But part of me honestly thinks, like, okay, It'd be cool if all the animals and every organism or whatever knew, like, this is my property, so you can't oh, come yeah. over here. But they don't. So, like, I guess the uh, there's only two answers if you don't want spiders is to kill them or get all the spiders and put them in a bucket and dump them in the forest. But no one's going to do that. But then again, then humans are eventually going to take over that forest because we think everything's ours. Wait, but I have a question. If you paid someone the same amount, would you have them get all the spiders and dump them in a bucket and bring it to the forest? Oh, sure. If it was like, (laughs) say if it was like $40 more for them to actually somehow, it was guaranteed they would find every spider. I wouldn't trust it. But somehow it was guaranteed they'd find every spider and naturally put them in like a spider sanctuary. Then I'd say, oh, of course do that. Like obviously don't kill them. Yeah, so like if that was possible, then I then I bet some people would do it. But then I wouldn't trust it. Though. I'd yeah. be like, you're not getting all this spiders. But if it was guaranteed. Also, I yeah. never believe when people say, why are you scared of a spider? They're way more scared of you. It's like the ones I've seen aren't. Oh, they yeah. They aren't scared at all of humans. They just stay there looking They're at ready you. to pounce, ready to run, jump, fly, multiply. This makes, this makes me so ghost out. I just think about when I'm at the zoo and I see the tarantula looking at me. It's like, turn around. I know. That's disgusting. Ugh. That's so gross. Despicable. So do you think they should all die? Um, so if you say you had an apartment and um a wait, spider was oh, in the wait. kitchen, would you kill it or would you would you grab it and let it outside? Oh wait, so you mean just the ones that are in your house die? Because I think there should be spiders. Oh, oh yeah, but, but say, you, say you say okay. you owned an apartment or whatever, renting an apartment, and there's a spider in the kitchen, would you squish it with a paper towel or do one of those things that like those people oh. do on TV shows where like they put it in a cup? I'm not or... gonna put on a fake personality. Like I'm just gonna squeeze it and kill it. <gasps> I'm kidding. Yeah, because like, even though it, when I actually think about it, if I put on the spider shoes, I would that would suck for them. But I guess that's just that's just life. I guess. Have we talked about how we went to those museums in Las Vegas, the Titanic Museum, and the Human Museum? I feel like we did. Oh, okay. Because because wait, did we ever talk about? I want to know if you guys know. Did you, do you guys know if on the Titanic they were drinking and doing coke the whole time? And like did, doing drugs. Didn't they hint at that at the museum? Yeah, because they were kind of saying that. So, because during that time, they didn't know it's bad or whatever. Yeah, I remember one time I was at this, um like, birthday dinner thing, like, years yeah. ago. And I was sitting next to, um like, this 40-year-old woman. And she was telling me for some reason. She was like, oh, yeah. I don't know how we got on the topic, but she said, oh, I wish I lived in L.A. back in, like, the 20s and 30s or something. And she said, yeah, back then, just... Coke was flying around like <laughs> dust and no one knew it was bad for you and you just did coke all day and drank and she said like that's why she wished she would have lived back then. That'd be crazy. So maybe on the Titanic they didn't even know coke was bad so they were like oh yeah like at 8 o'clock at night we all do some coke and it helps us have fun all night. Yeah because I, I think that might have been the case like they just they probably drank all day and they probably didn't drink water because they didn't know it's good. Yeah they're just like 
And they're just like, oh, we're on a ship. Like, of course you wake up and do drink whiskey and stuff. Yeah, and then at 9 o'clock when you get tired, you do yeah. coke. But this, then this oh? opens your eyes. What are we doing now that's going to be looked down upon? Oh, so much. So, like, do you think a hundred years now they'll be like, like, okay, so, like, maybe they'll be like, wait, they, they ate, uh, okay, so what if, like, a hundred years now everyone's, like, vegan and they're like, they ate meat? That's so gross. Or, like, they'll just be like, they ate this gross processed, like, little Debbie snacks and, like, these little cookie packets. And, <laughs> oh, yeah. And, like, they just, like, treated, treated the world like a trash can, you know what I mean? Like, oh, and I could see something else that, a really big deal. Um, like, like, I could see a hundred years when, like, people, people think it's so gross that, um, fast fashion was a thing. Like, oh, like yeah. you know, I don't, I don't, I haven't done like that, but like, I kind of know what it is. How like, how like it's so ch- such cheap clothes because like people pay the walkers so cheap yeah. to make it. I could see like that being a thing. People are like, what? That happened? For sure. Yeah. So I feel like they were doing that on the Titanic though. But remember in the Titanic where in the museum they, they converted to like they, they um like took inflation into an account and how much it would have cost to be in the first class cabin was like $150,000 of today's money. I know, which asses. I know, $150,000 for a trip, like, loaded. Yeah, and like, and it and it did look like super grand, like the lobby. And they, it's so funny because like, weren't they all separated? Like the people that had first class, like, never saw the people that I were lower class. I think even low class was like 20000 or something. Like, that's still a lot of money to have to save up. Oh, yeah, they were all rich. And then in Crazy. the Human Body Museum, was there anything interesting? Um, yeah, that one was, it was like, there's actual dead bodies you could look at. I was kind of annoyed. Like skin. It was like just their muscles and stuff or like, they were like dried up. It was just so gross. Yeah. And, and, and they didn't even show like, like any, like, like the, <laughs> um, like the, um, genitals or anything. Right? Yeah, they did. Remember there was always those ball sacks. But they didn't show like the females ball sacks and stuff. Oh, I guess cause like it already deteriorated or whatever. It wasn't like dried up. It looked like dried fruit. Wait, for the female? For the, all the bodies they showed. Oh yeah. It just looked like a crusty oh, but it was kind of funny because people actually writing notes and like being like oh my this is crazy but then we had okay just ran oh, through yeah, it I five minutes like, I'm such a, <laughs> that's why i always i've done that with every museum because like <laughs> we went in the museums remember we said we, we we bought the tickets we said how long will it take and they said oh probably like an hour and a half two hours and like we got out in like 20 minutes <laughs> but like it's because like i'm not gonna and i actually felt like i did read everything like, yeah. I would, like i would look at something read the little thing but like I'm just not the type of person to, like, stare at it for five minutes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, unless I really cared, but I just... Yeah, because I remember that one girl... Wasn't there a girl towards the end of the Titanic one who, like, was taking it too seriously? What happened? What? It was something, it was something it was funny. so where, like, fucking funny. Where, what for happened? some reason, like, she pretended like she knew the people. Oh. <laughs> it's like, boo, <laughs> you weren't alive. No, she... I, I I think she looked at someone and said, I think that was my grandpa. Oh, I swear, no. it was something like that. Something in that, that was, I forgot what the exact thing was. It was something where, like, me and you thought it was so funny because, like, she was somehow <laughs> making it, like, so intense. I remember that. It was so but dumb, I though. I don't remember exactly what it was. That was funny. I do know what you're talking about, though. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> and some more of my debates are yeah, Big what are Time Rush or the Jonas Brothers. <laughs> um so with this one it's weird because um because like um no hate to the j- big time wish but i thought everyone would choose the jonas brothers but those but the thing is that you just don't n- realize it but there's big time rush stands everywhere they, did they, you know that at one point hits. one direction opened up for big time rush i know that's insanity that yeah i crazy. remember hearing about that so big time rush is actually a, a thing i just didn't know it was actually a thing until like a while back yeah, I feel like I was always confused. I never really watched the show, but I always thought it was like, uh, like you know, Victorious, how like she's a singer on the show. Like I always thought, like, oh, it's like that's a scripted thing. But then they were actually a real band, so yeah. I never, I never could understand it. It was like all these different dimensions that my mind just couldn't wrap around. That's what I was confused about because I remember watching the first episode of Big Time Rush, but I thought just like Lucas was saying, I thought it was a scripted show, so it was all like, it was all like in a fake world, you know. But I didn't, yeah, I didn't they know have a real ass a band. Yeah, so I didn't know it was an actual band where they're actually trying to get big in real life that's what i never understood because because then in the show they were trying to get like record deals and it was just like honest it, honestly my mind couldn't wrap around yeah it was too confusing for our simple minds sunny with a chance or wizards of waverly place um wizards of waverly place oh, i mine's sunny with a chance for sure i didn't really watch sunny with for some a reason, chance i actually i never watched wizards of waverly place but i like stand Su- sunny with a chance i actually like loved wizards of waverly place i love sunny with a chance because it's so cool but she was on like a sketch show just living life so i far, watched a so few great. episodes i remember Okay, pizza or hamburgers? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I'm joking. Um, pizza. Great. Mine's. What is yours? 
I'm probably also pizza. Yeah, hamburgers are good, but pizza is just like. Should we move on to the next road trip game? Yeah. What okay, is the it? next road trip game <laughs> you can play for fun what with your ex. It? This is all suggestions to that one girl who um is with her ex. Uh, yeah, this podcast is actually dedicated. So this to is you. another game you can play with your ex. You come up with something obscure, um, basic, anything, and the other person asks you yes or no questions, only yes or no. So most people try to bend the rules. And they can see if they can find out what it is in like two minutes. We don't let it go longer than that. Because if you don't get it in two minutes, like, okay, just tell me. Yeah. And I'm not yeah. going to keep playing this for 30 minutes. So 20 questions except under two minutes. Yeah, you don't really count the questions. Okay. Do you want me to go first? Sure. All right. So you have to start asking me questions. Okay. Is it living? <laughs> no. Is it? <laughs> so it's an object. <laughs> no. What? So is it, is it an idea? No. Is it an emotion? <laughs> no. Is it a mood? What? It's a thing. Oh, is it a disease? No. Is it... Wait, what? It's not living. It's wait. not an object. It's not a disease. It's not an emotion. Think about what would what would floor be? Oh! Yeah, like floor. So like is it's it, not really like a... It is an object, right? Or is it not? Oh, well, like I wouldn't say floor is oh, an object. It's is it, is it a place? No. Is it like a part of the environment? No. What is it in this? Is it near us? Yeah, there's probably a few near us. What? What? <laughs> Let me think. It's not an object. Is it part of a house? No, it's not like think about. You said floor. Are... You said floor. So wouldn't floor be part of a house? No, it'd be something like that. But like these are just everywhere. But like you can't buy it. It's like you just. Oh, is it like an atom or like oxygen or no, something? No, it could be like a shape. Oh, so not... it is a shape. No, but like it could be like that. Oh, a color? Maybe. Is it a color? No. Oh, is it a shape? Um, no, this is not a shape to me. Is it a material? <laughs> I just want to know what it is. No, is it something you can touch? Is it something you can have and you can touch with your hand? Yeah, you could touch one. <laughs> okay, what? Would you <laughs> die? <laughs> no. Okay, so maybe I maybe I might have answered some of the questions wrong, but do you want to know what it is? Yeah. It's whole. So like a hole. Oh, so like a, so a toilet is a that hole. That isn't really an object. Like I my guess. eye could be a hole. What? Oh, I guess that yeah, wouldn't so be an that object. One, so like I just did it to be confusing. That is a shape. Not really though. I know. I didn't know how to answer. I didn't oh my god, to that's a good one. Everyone. Okay, I have one. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. Is it living? Yep. Um. Is it a human? Yes. Is it a celebrity? Yes. <laughs> um. Uh, are they an A list star? Um, that's kind of hard to answer, but I don't but think like, so. Oh, okay. Um, are they in the? Are they a movie star? No. Um, do they sing? Yes. Um, are they in the modern day? Yes. Like, are, so they're really famous right now. Yeah, they are. Are they at? Are they? Are they peaking? Like, are they? Like, like, are they at like the height? Um, I would say some people might have said they've already peaked, but I think that. Honestly, like just putting a lot of factors into it. I'm supposed to be yes or no. <laughs> putting a lot of factors into it, like the peak is and on the horizon. Okay. But um, who knows? Maybe not. It all depends. Um, is it a goal? No. It's a guy? Yeah. Do they rap? I don't think so. Do they sing? Yeah. Do they act too? I already asked do they sing, but do they no. act? So just singing. Um um are they like are they popular to like teens i think that's their main audience i don't know who else wait who justin bieber no harry styles no is it niall this Hon? is gonna be hard but i want you to guess it wait okay so it's someone who's singing that we never talk about us. this person i don't think we ever oh is it like ed shannon oh post malone you need to find out more questions um like to find out specific i feel like if you ask more questions you can have it out. have they had um number one hits no have they had top ten hits? And and I, I'm I'm talking about on Billboard. Oh no! I, I don't feel think like so. I might know. No. No. Oh, so do they have less than? Do they have more than two million followers on Instagram? If you had to I guess, I actually feel like they do have a lot of followers. Probably. Cameron Dallas. No. Is are they a social media person? Yes. Do they make YouTube videos? Not that I've ever seen. Did they start on social media? Yes. Troy Sivan? It wasn't like a, it wasn't like how like, you know, they didn't just start uploading videos. It was more of like a viral. Are they gay? It was most of a, more of a viral, a viral thing. Like they didn't upload the videos. Other people did. Uh, are they gay? 
<laughs> I don't know. They're like 11. Oh, oh Mason Ramsey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? I you ran, gave wanted, it away kind of. I, but yeah. No, I wanted to think of someone who would just be so random that like we've never even talked about. Like I don't know how you'd ever come to them. If I wouldn't have said the 11 years old, would you have I honestly them? think it would have took a lot. No, but like oh. when you said viral videos, what what? no, the first two things were Lil Nas and Mo, 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 Mason Ramsey. Oh, yeah. So you would have got it. Yeah, I He's guess. He's the yodeling yeah. boy, if you guys don't know. The yodeling boy in Walmart. Well, how long ago is that? Like three years ago. Oh, Maybe right. like it, two. But yeah, do you know what I two. mean? Like some people might say, oh, he already had his viral moment. But like he's 11. Like I feel like he's going to be huge when he's like 18. Yeah. And I feel like nowadays viral moments are way more huger than they used to be. Oh, for sure. So like I feel like in a couple years, like when he grows up, he can like do it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, This one's out of the realm too. I'm, I'm bringing it for the people that we don't usually talk about this, but I'm supporting other types of things. Okay. Okay. So is this a thing? I mean, is it a living thing? Yeah. Is it a politician? No. Um, is it a celebrity? Pop culture? Yeah. Are they famous for some are they famous for a talent? <laughs> um, yes. Are like an entertainment talent, singing, dancing, acting? No. Wait, what's their talent then? So there is their talent being like an activist? No. Oh, because you said there isn't why I'm thrown off this because before you started, they said you guys want us to talk about this, so we're gonna. Oh no, you so I thought know. it was gonna be like an activist oh, or a politician. Oh no, I didn't mean like that. You guys don't want us to talk about it. I might, I might. If you like this type of stuff, we never talk about it. So I'm gonna talk about it. Oh, I thought you were gonna. I thought you were trying to say like we're gonna talk about like politics or something. Oh no. Oh, I'm so confused. Still, then we never talk about this. Okay, so, have we, have so I'm talked? gonna give you a big hint. Okay. So th- you said, "Are they alive?" And I said, "Yeah." But, but they might be alive in another universe. Like So, for example, <gasps> Spider-Man. No. Oh. I just gave it away. Is I meant it, to say SpongeBob. Is it Spider-Man? I meant to say SpongeBob because he's <laughs> alive, Spider-Man? but he's, like, not alive. I don't know if you could say that it's they're Spider-Man. alive as a character. Well, he is alive. Like, But oh, when you say, true. are they alive, like, then... That's true. I guess, yeah. Okay, I just... So think, it was Spider-Man. <laughs> yeah, I, I, but I wanted to say SpongeBob, but then uh, I, I was I so was thrown off the from thing. the comments at the beginning. What? Like, the whole, like, we don't normally talk about it. Oh, yeah, I want... I wanted to support all the people that watch Marvel. I've never okay. really watched that. I have one more. This one's going to be really hard, but I have faith in you that you could get it. I'm going to see what the time is. I'm going to see if you can get it like within three minutes. Okay. Like, I feel like you'll get oh, it. Oh, sorry. Is that live? Yes. Is that a celebrity? That's hard to answer, but I think no. <laughs> Are they someone that we just know? No. <laughs> oh. Are they well known? I mean, this is also hard to answer. I I guess they are a lot more well known than the average person. Nikki Blonsky. No, <laughs> she's a celebrity. <laughs> I know, but I just thought like no, she's it's not a... her. Um, do they live in LA? I think so. Yeah, they do. I'm pretty sure. Are they an actor? No. Are they a singer? No. <laughs> are they a reality star? No. Are they famous for being hot? No. Are they famous for doing something bad? No. What? I know this is going to be kind of hard, but I have faith. Um, are they in the news media, like, in the last few months? No, for sure not. Um, are they a YouTuber? No. Do they post on Instagram? Probably, but, like, I've never followed. I don't think most... I don't think... I don't... Oh, wait, is it a goal? Yeah. Did I already ask that? No, you haven't yet. All right. Um, so, they're kind of well-known, but they're not a celebrity. Yeah. But, like, I think you would know who they were. <laughs> a lot of people would. <laughs> is it someone's <gasps> kid? That's on the right track. Is it a pet? That's on that's on the right track. Um, but it's not a pet. It's a okay. human. Um, is it like someone's assistant or something? Yeah. It is. Yeah. So it's a celebrity's assistant. Yes. <laughs> um, a celebrity's assistant. But well, now you can just ask about the celebrity. Oh, okay. Is the celebrity a singer? Yeah. Um, are they a singer that's really big right now? Yeah. Like, right now, in this moment. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Um, they aren't, like, new, though, but they're big, really big. Oh, okay. L- Lady Gaga's assistant? No. Wait, I'm trying to think. Like, I, you're on the right I'm track. I'm talking about like, Lady Gaga, Katy Perry, Ana Grande. It, oh, you just said it. I don't know. It. You assistants. just said it. Ana Grande's no. assistant? Lady, Katy Perry's assistant? Katy Perry's sister from the Part of Me movie. <laughs> remember? That wasn't what it Do was. Do you remember the, the Katy Perry movie? Her sister was in it a bunch. The blonde haired girl. I watched that. You don't remember the oh, blonde haired girl? Yeah, she was always on tour with her. Right? Yeah, she was on tour with her. She was an assistant. And then Katy Perry got divorced from Russell Brand and she had to watch her sister try on wedding dresses and she was crying. 
Yeah, I kind of remember that. That yeah. movie was good. That's so random. That's so funny. That's the most she random. Came ones. to my mind. <laughs> Katy Perry's sister. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, I probably wouldn't have guessed that though if you didn't give those hints. Like th- oh, that's one yeah. of those like that's kind of hard. Yeah, like, how would you ever guess that? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. I thought, you probably haven't thought about her like since you watched the movie. And it's also funny because like because like she isn't a celebrity, but like that's obviously why it was hard like to if ask. you said her like you'd be like oh yeah I don't know who that is but yeah like. You know. Yeah. Oh shit. That's funny though. Do Sorry, I have anything else to mention? Yeah, I, I don't have any more. Do you? Um, no, I actually don't. Yeah, I just had bust it open and then a few other things. <laughs> <laughs> well, we hope you play those with your ex. Um, please email us and keep us updated. Like, did it turn into a romance movie? Like, are you guys now hitting it off? Do one of you guys leave and live with another friend, or what's the tea? What's happening? We wish yeah. you all the best. This was dedicated to you, and if you are wearing braces, get the food out of them. Oh, did you see the email from that um, the girl saying that she's getting her braces off and she's going to listen to our podcast while she's getting her braces off? That's what made me think of it. I, yeah. didn't, I didn't know. Yeah, That's a big day, getting your braces off. Remember when I got my braces off? That day I was like, okay, like I'm a model. I felt so confident. And I was like, I'm a model, smiling, white, straight teeth. I was just like, it was all worth it. I know, and it was just like, it came to school the next day. Everyone was like, oh, my gosh, can I kiss those fine-ass lips? You know? <laughs> well, thank you guys for listening. Follow us on our social medias. Um, we hope you have a great day. Bye. See you next weekend. Week. We love you, Katy Perry sister.